Good morning everybody, Orin J here with another Honkai Star Rail video and today I'm going to compare the two experiences I've had playing Honkai Star Rail. The first experience was spending about a thousand dollars on the game through Sila's banner, through Jing Yuan's banner. It wasn't quite a thousand, but I was really pushing that number. I had E6 Sila, Jing Yuan, light cones for basically all of my five star units, because when you pull that much by spending, you can just go cash in the like light cone pity shop. It was insane, and my account was really strong, like pushing Memories of Chaos level strong, but my fun level kind of just started dipping, and I was watching other content creators having so much fun as free-to-play players, taking advantage of like the huge roster of units in this game. I wanted to try it. I'm officially done with the content in the game with my free-to-play account. So let me review both of them and compare them, and it's not even a close comparison. The amount of fun I had with the free-to-play account was so much that actually before the first um, Nameless Honor period ended, I stopped being free-to-play on there and purchased the Nameless Glory. So I dropped, um, I think I actually dropped 20 bucks on that one because I needed the extra 10 levels to get to level 45, and then I just spent gems to get to level 50 and that was very worth it to me i decided to cash in on the free to play account spend 20 bucks on it and make it my new main account the game's just more fun it's so much harder and it it's the appropriate level of difficulty to me the game feels like it's balanced around somebody who wants to spend 20 to 30 dollars a month i then also went and purchased the, let's see here, I don't know how to find it, I just go to warp and go to exchange, I purchased this recommended thing, the daily jade pass, you can see I still have the 300 oneric shards, I haven't converted those into anything yet, I, I can convert them whenever I want, I'll just sit on them, but for five more dollars, basically put me at $25 spent on the account, and that felt like such a sweet spot, so my answer to the question of what's better, whaling or free to play, I actually don't think either of those is perfect. The game feels balanced to me around someone who wants to buy that battle pass and get access to all those leveling materials. Then lean into what you have on your account and enjoy the game through those characters. Now, this free to play account has been pretty lucky. My first character I ever got was Yon King and that was fine. I haven't been super impressed with this guy yet, but keep in mind, I haven't got to the point in the game where I think he shines. When you need ice element units, you can start farming gear and getting crit damage. This guy's a future investment for me, so I'm keeping him leveled, but I'm just pacing it with him. I pulled Silver Wolf. I actually lost the 50-50 on her banner, and but it was my first pull on the banner. Like, literally pull one on the banner was losing a 50-50 and catching a dupe of Branya. Um, but then I got Silver Wolf at about soft pity there. Branya is the pride and joy of my account, honestly, because I have Idol on one. I got her on the regular banner, or she was my newbie character one. Anyway, her and Yon King were my first two. And then losing a 50 50 and getting this duplicate of her has been so nice. And she is a wonderful character for enabling this entire host of other characters. Like now I can play my Shu Shang. I'm leveling up Dan for Memories of Chaos. And I kind of have this plan in place by the time I hit Trailblazer level 50, and that will be several days, maybe that's a week out. I will be ready to hit that at only $25 paid, only $25 paid, and it just feels like the sweet spot to me. So look, here's my verdict, right? If you want to spend money on this game, I think there is just a cap on level of enjoyment. Now look, I'm, that's me. That's me speaking. If you're somebody who just wants to collect everything, including light cones, please don't let me stop you from spending. This game is making tons of money and the content they're putting out is very, very good. So whales keep supporting us. I've already thrown my thousand dollars and a thousand plus 25 or whatever the heck it is at the game. And I plan on keeping buying the nameless honor pass. I'm going to wait until I need it. And I imagine once I start leveling up, when I hit trailblazer level 50, I'll start needing all of these prizes again. And I will snag the nameless glory battle pass thing. But until then, I've pretty comfortable and I am also I also feel very comfortable recommending that level of spending to almost anyone 20 bucks every 40 or 50 days or however long it is feels pretty cheap for as good of a game as Honkai Star L is now 
I do want to talk about my account a little bit and then we're going to end the video. I have some warp tickets. I have six. I've used some of my mats. I've leveled my characters up to their next ascension level and I want to see if I can hit a soft pity on this stellar warp to keep building up my account. I do want to prove something too. Somebody here, hold on, let me put my face on the screen. I had a commenter who really tried to com uh, call me out in my last video about how much money I spent on the game as if I was like buying Jade. Let me prove to you that I did not buy Jade. Look, I have the initial bonus for every single one of these still. These haven't refreshed. I still just have them. So I clearly, like this is the proof that I've not bought Jade. Some put Somebody wanted to know, so there you go, I'll show you. All I've bought is the things I showed. Anyway, let's look at the account. So if we go to my characters, I've already kind of shown you my pride and joy, Branya, but Baby J, the actual MC, is as good as you think he is. He pairs super well with Natasha. These two are so core to the game as a low spender or free to play. Jing Yuan, everybody who talks trash on this guy is insane. He is really good. I have him at E0. I don't have his light cone. In fact, I I've been leaning into this four star light cone that boosts his follow up damage. I've loved this. It just makes the lightning god into an insane damage dealer. And so I just play around his follow up attacks. This is a great use of this light cone, and it's a really unique way of playing the game that makes me feel special for having Jing Yuan, whether I'm running simulated universe or playing him anywhere else in the world. I do have Silver Wolf. I'm currently in the process of like working up her traces. You can see I've made really good progress there. She's running her free to play light cone. This thing's busted, by the way. This thing's really, really good, especially for getting her to ult all the time. More on that later, but she is going to be the crux of my second team once I start really diving in to Memories of Chaos because she will enable either somebody like him to carry harder for me or I can put her like Dan Shushang if I want to do like a physical team. I'm going to have her really be a debuffer and elemental enabler for some of my better units like Shushang at killing single enemies. So that's kind of my plan with the account there. March 7th has been really good kinds of my backup tank since I don't have Japard. Maybe that'll change at the end of this video. There's a huge part of me that wants to build Sampo, but it's I can't do it. I can't make myself do it right now because Dan seems so good. Once you get his Eidolon, I think it's Eidolon 1, where he gets that crit damage, and then you can go get the 5-star Light Cone from... Uh, simulated universe i believe yeah simulated universe where you can um, give him the other half of that crit damage making him a better critter a, a better critter like a little monk monkey or rabbit or something anyway let's do some polls right here and while we do this, while I hope that I, I'm, I'm in the 60, I think that was my 66th poll on this banner since hitting a five star. Um, I just want to talk about the difficulty level in the game. I think pre, ooh, purple door, purple door, I'm distracted. Sam, okay, there we go. I say it's going to be hard for me to justify playing Sampo, and the games like here have a Sampo dupe. Wow, thank you, game. That makes it a little bit more difficult. Anyway. I really feel like the game has been tuned around that low spender mark. I don't think free to play would have been as enjoyable for me anymore. Once you hit the point of the game where you are um, focusing on leveling your characters, I feel like the resource crunch is too much and having that battle pass for the, either whether you buy the $10 one or you need the $20 one to accelerate it, really opened the door and that is the thing that allowed me to truly enjoy my free to play account, which is again, at that point is a dolphin account, as much as or more than I was enjoying my pay to win account. So the pay to win account, like if you're on my friends list on my main account, I am not planning on playing that account anymore. So feel free to drop me off your friends list. It probably shows I haven't been on in a week plus or something like that. I thought that went rainbow. I saw the shadow on that ticket and thought I had a rainbow. Anyway, I'm not planning on playing that. So if you want to hop by a stream sometime and refriend me on the baby J account, I had a lot of people do that on my last stream. I'd be happy to do that with you. Come on, throw me a rainbow here. Dang it, never during the video, right? Never during the video. So anyway, no more rainbows, but we'll see what we get. Maybe we purple door it for the second time in a row. 
I want to show you guys something else too. Something that's a big difference between a free to play player or a low spender and a whale while we are talking about exchange shops. If you go to the Ember exchange, one thing that my whale account never struggled with was money because you have so much of this um, undying Ember, you can infinitely buy credits like and i say infinitely it's a little bit of hyperbole but not much you essentially have more of this than you could ever need at least i did and i was trouble as level 59 i just come get some here i have to budget this a little bit more cleverly especially around making sure i get the tickets i think these exp books are worth it credits i'll probably buy those so that's again that's fun to me managing these systems is more fun than just collecting units and overpowering content um, I want to show you this as well, the Starlight Exchange. I'm at 336 out of 600. As a low spender, I do think I am going to save for a 5-star Light Cone. I could pick up another copy of Sampo or Natasha, and I don't think that's a wrong way of playing, but I do think that something that is so much more enjoyable about the free-to-play account is every time I pull, it's really impactful. Like, every pull ticket I get, I'm like, this could be the moment where I pick up Bailu or Japard, and that could change the way I build my account. And when you spend all the money, and you're essentially guaranteeing yourself all of the units through spending, that luster goes away for me. There are whales out there who I believe are enjoying the game as much as me, and if that's you, like I said, uh, play however you want, and I'm really happy for you. Like, honestly, and please keep supporting the game. I've given them my $1,000. Uh, you guys keep giving them your thousands, and I won't hold that against you because it's stupid to hold spending against people. These right here, the contract shop, I doubt I ever get these except this one this one with the fuel in it almost felt worth it because what i'm debating right now is with my stellar jade i'm gonna pull on lucia's banner so i'm saving all of my jade for that uh because i need coverage in that element and lucia being a healer would give me that second healer so i do think there's worth i think there's like value there what's this get defeating enemies when you 100 chance to inflict all enemies with that well that's kind of cool either way there's idol on two for our boy sampo um but after that, I almost think it's it, it becomes almost worth it to start spending Jade to just keep playing the game. In fact, if I ever decided to spend more money on this account, which I don't know that I ever do, and I'm probably leaning towards not, I would spend all of the jade that i bought on just unlocking and letting me keep playing i wouldn't even consider crossing that bridge i think until the gear farm the gear farm is so rng dependent that i think that's where being a low spender or free to play player could become a little less fun my gear is not very good right now a couple of my characters have decent stuff but i'm really running some like you know I got a couple things that are good, like this plus 15 with the crit damage and the attack on it, like that's pretty good, but I have very few good pieces of gear, and I it's going to be hard to farm it, especially once I have to farm like trace materials and things like that. So anyway, that's the update on my free-to-play account. That's kind of what it's looking like, and that's sort of my plans with Honkai Star Rail running forward. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences with spending in the game, let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.